Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jakes aka Nico, and today we're going to dive into the arts of brewing and splashing. We're also going to go over the widest spread god pot sets that exist, as well as how to prepare them. So stick around till the end, do not miss a single drop of potion that I'm going to be splashing on you. Before we get into the video though, I really quickly have to mention two things. First up, I have to ask you for help. I'm truthfully honored to be probably the number one spot of most people watching my videos without actually being subscribed, but I would really love it if you guys would help me out losing that number one spot by subscribing obviously only if you do enjoy what you see but yeah let's lose the number one spot i had it for quite some time other than that i quickly want to mention my website and i'm currently starting to include a discord server list and this is probably the best time to mention if you want your server to be also up there then feel free to join my discord and message me about yours and lastly, since this is going to be a video about splashes and brewing, I quickly want to mention Astro Splash. They do 24 splashes a day, and since they're Alchemy 50 splashes, they last up to an hour, which basically means unlimited splashes. Some of them are public, but you can donate to get into priority splashes, so make sure to check them out. They're on my website as well as linked down below. Alright, so let's begin with the basics. A potion is brewed with three simple steps. First up, you have the bases, which represents either a water bottle, oftentimes brewed into an awkward potion using a nether ward, or you use a special bases, which there are quite a few of them in Hypixel Skyblock. Before we continue, here's a quick rundown of the NPC locations to find these items. The Shifty has his bar right beside the auction house. The bartender has his one right across the street of B's shop. And lastly, the melancholic Viking has his shack over at an island in the park, which has to be unlocked by a couple of simple steps. Then after that, add the main ingredient. This is basically to choose exactly what type of potion it is going to be, except for a couple that you can either get or buy already brewed up. You can pause or check them out on my website, which is linked down below, because there's quite a few of them. But we're now gonna move on to, lastly, the modifiers. This is to either make the potion effect last longer, become stronger, or even be splashable to hit multiple people instead of just yourself. The duration is enhanced with either a redstone or a redstone lamp, and it depends on your current alchemy level, meaning the higher level your alchemy skill is, the longer the potions will last. The strength or tier of a potion is increased with glowstone, or here again, a redstone lamp. The redstone lamp would be a good choice if you want to save glowstone, since it's the equivalent of an enchanted glowstone block and only costs a fraction of it. And to make a potion splashable, you use gunpowder. Make sure to use enchanted gunpowder though, otherwise the potion will lose some of its duration. It might be good to mention that not all potions need to be maxed out to be considered a god pot. The exceptions being haste, as we only need tier 3 pots to insta break blocks, which is achieved by adding enchanted glowstone dust, and experience, where you don't need to upgrade the tier at all, since it only is used for its side effects and those won't change with the tier upgrade anyways. So now that we cleared up all that, let's talk about splash sets and god pots. God pots are max are potions that are included in a splash. Here again, it's probably good to mention that haste, like I said, as well as experience, are not needed to be maxed out. These splashes actually have a big variety of potions because they are always applied as to what the god plot splash is all about. In a splash, there are four different main types of potions you want to include. Speed potions, combat potions, enhancers, and XP boosts. But what exactly do you want and when? That is exactly what we're going to talk about now. There is, like I said, a large variety of splash sets that you are able to choose from. This is because there is a lot of different things potions are actually used for. If we now take a look at the main types, we can see that speed potions are probably useful in every single scenario, except maybe fishing, since all you do is play tree and don't really move around anyways. The combat potions are here to give you strength, resistance, or other types of effects to further improve your combat scenario. With that said, you can see that this is also a pretty popular thing to include in a set, except if the splash would be for skill grinding such as farming, forging or mining, since you don't really need to find anything whilst doing that. Enhancers are mainly here to improve luck with potions like magic find or pet luck, but also with haste, which is one of the main potions for skill grinding if we're talking about forging or mining for example. Lastly, XP boosts, they're exactly what their name already says, they boost the XP you can get from whatever skill you choose. Alright, so what does a god pot splash actually look like? This here is probably the most common splash set that you'll find out there. Obviously, the choices for XP boosts, as well as some potions such as True Resistance, for example, are optional, but with these potions, you will have a good time grinding for almost anything you would want. 
Since there is a large variety of sets though, here are some other sets that could be in your interest if you don't want to include every single potion within every of your splashes and or you want to only splash for certain situations. Alright, so since everything that I showed off here is also included on my website, I will quietly promote that one last time. You'll have the link down in the description for you to check it out. This video was quite the journey, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show it off by hitting the like button and if you want to help me out losing the number one spot for the most people watching with Without actually being subscribed then feel free to join the army and subscribe to get notified obviously also hit the bell but since this is it for the video thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day